Chapter 47 Nico Nico wasn't sure whether to kick himself or Will Solace. If he hadn't been so distracted bickering with the son of Apollo, he would never have allowed the enemy to get so close. As the dog-headed men barreled forward, Nico raised his sword. He doubted he had the strength left to win, but before he could attack them, Will let out a piercing taxicab whistle. All six dogmen dropped their weapons, grabbed their ears, and fell down in agony. Dude! Cecil opened his mouth to pop his ears. What the actual Hades? A little warning next time! It's even worse for the dogs, Will shrugged. One of my few musical talents. I do really awful ultrasonic whistles. Nico couldn't complain. He waded through the dogmen, jabbing them with his sword. They dissolved into shadows. Octavian and the other Romans seemed too stunned to react. My, my elite guard! Octavian looked around for sympathy. Did you see what he did to my elite guard? Some dogs need to be put down. Nico took a step forward, like you. For one beautiful moment, the entire first cohort wavered. Then they remembered themselves and leveled the phyla. You will be destroyed! Octavian shrieked. You Gracie sneak around, sabotaging our weapons, attacking our men! You mean the weapons you were about to fire at us? Cecil asked. And the men you were about to burn down our camp to ashes with? Added Llewellyn. Just like a Greek! Octavian yelled. Trying to twist things around! Well, it won't work! He pointed to the nearest legionnaires. You, 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 and you! Click, check all the onagers. Make sure they're operational. I want them fired simultaneously as soon as possible. Go! The four Romans ran. Nico tried to keep his expression neutral. Please don't check the fire trajectory, he thought. He hoped Cecil had done his work well. It was one thing to screw up a huge weapon. It was another to screw it up so bad and subtly that no one noticed him until it was too late. But if anyone had that skill, it would be a child of Hermes the god of trickery. Octavian marched up to Nico. To his credit, the auger didn't seem afraid, though his only weapon was a dagger. He stopped so close, Nico could see the bloodshot veins in his pale, watery eyes. His face was gaunt. His hair was the color of overcooked spaghetti. Nico knew Octavian was a legacy, a descendant of Apollo many generations removed. Now he couldn't help thinking that Octavian looked like a watered-down, unhealthy version of Will Solace like a photo that had been copied too many times. Whatever made a child of Apollo special, Octavian did not have it. Tell me, son of Pluto, the auger hissed, why are you helping the Greeks? What have they ever done for you? Nico was itching to stab Octavian in the chest. He'd been dreaming of that ever since Bryce Lawrence had attacked them in South Carolina. But now they were face to face. Nico hesitated. He had no doubt he could kill Octavian before the first cohort intervened. Nor did Nico particularly care if he died for his actions. The trade-off would be worth it. But after what he happened with Bryce, the idea of cutting down another demigod in cold blood, even Octavian, didn't sit well. Nor did it seem right to sentence Cecil, Llewellyn, and Will to die with him. It doesn't seem right? Another part of him wondered, since when do I worry about what's right? I'm helping the Greeks and the Romans, Nico said. Octavian laughed. Don't try to con me! What have they offered you, a place in their camp? They won't honor their agreement! I don't want a place in their camp, Nico snarled, or in yours. When the war is over, I'm leaving both camps, for good. Will Salas made a sound like he'd been punched. W why would you do that? Nico scowled. It's none of your business, but I don't belong. That's obvious. No one wants me. I'm a child of... Oh, please! Will sounded unusually angry. Nobody at Camp Half-Blood ever pushed you away. You have friends, or at least people who would like to be your friend. You pushed yourself away. If you'd get your head out of that brooding cloud of yours for once... Enough! Octavian snapped. D'Angelo, I could beat any offer the Greeks could make. I always thought you'd make a more powerful ally. I see the ruthlessness in you, and I appreciate that. I can assure you a place in New Rome. All you have to do is step aside and allow the Romans to win. The god Apollo has shown me the future.